Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. We're going to Kekuka. Kekuka. Road trip. Going to Mushroom Town. They worship apes there. Let's go. How do you know that? I looked at it earlier. Oh, right. That makes sense. That's a thing I do sometimes. Solid. We're I'm inspired. inspired again. All right. It's Goatman. It is, a, it is, however, uh, they're not aggressive. Oh. Worshipper of Oborokoru. It's in tight. <laughs> Very good. I'll explore. I'm saving. Amex. We have a, ooh, that is a really nasty thing to worship a Borokoru. I have a... Well, when you see it again, have a quick look at that miserable looking creature. Oh, oh, I love the music in Kyokyuka. Yeah. yeah, we're just kind of roaming around. Oh. It's Mayor Nuntu. We love Mayor Nuntu. And that is, uh, that plant right there, that's a merchant. Oh, Crow Song is here. That's pretty rare. Uh, Let's, uh... Mural. You want to go talk to Crow Song? Yeah, go talk to Crow Song. Sorry, Ural. We'll be back. I think it's rare. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. They tend to... I, I tend to not find them. I am the Batman. Who are you? Rosan, Death Wander, a colony of ants eating me, the leaves, the light, and they're on. Why are you hiding in a bush? I didn't know, being grass, the feeling of animate being radiate inward like a turned out star. What are you doing here, bud? Death is the color of everything, but sometimes it waves in bright ribbons like here. The whittlers wave their passing goods, and the walls are corpse eaters. That's messed up, my dude. Yo, your twin blades are works of art. Where did you get them? Hugged from the claws of one who had become a cord in time's silly carpet. I outrooted the hits and sheathed the blades, and now I am he. I still have the nail dirt. Nice. They've got some pretty decent weapons, but I'm not sure how to get them from him. He's a he's an interesting character. Uh, he I does have bone meal. He has tons bone of meal. bone meal. Yeah, grab right. that. That's the stuff. What That's about the stuff. fire ant gaster paste to make more? Yeah, hot. that's a great idea. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Anything else here? Voider gland paste, sparks nah. of plasma, base silk. Nah. Alright. Can sell her elastine skin suit. And and will. And rubber and suit. And the rubber suit. Uh -huh. else? Eh, we probably have a bunch of you could sell the sell the visage and that'll be enough i mean we're already actually you know what just sell because you you need to get rid of some water perfect trade complete cool okay all right so um we want to talk to the warden warden indrix not Ural. Um, we can talk to Ural, but they are actually a fairly low tier merchant, so I don't think that they will sell anything of much worth. Um, I would hesitate sharing a dram with uh, Warden Endrix because he has a problem. You may notice he is a goat folk, but yeah, he's hated by goat folk. 
That is, uh, that's not random. He's always hated by goat folk because he is a goat folk pariah. Uh. But we don't like goat folk in general. No, we don't like goat folk, but if we were friends with them, then they would be a much smaller threat. So making friends with Indrix and making enemies to goat folk kind of gets in the way with that. You still can if you want. Um, I tend to not, but up to you. Okay. However, um, he does have a job that you can take. There is one, there is but one task I know to offer. It is most treacherous and in all likelihood you will perish. Is your interest waned? Nah. Nah, dog. I've died so many times. <laughs> there is a river just south of the village that runs an easterly course into the jungle. Along its bank lies a goat folk village. There resides a mighty shaman. Mammon soul drinker. He is in position of a talisman of great power. An armenthine prism that reflects the psyche of its handler in much the same way as Mayor Nuntu has explained to me. Thalaman prism refracts light. Being as cursed traveler, no man or goat may safely wield it for long. You must travel to the village and retrieve the prism from Mammon by any means necessary. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. There is. Firstly, Mammon will likely have several goat folk under his enthrallment, and they will protect him at all costs. Don't care. Secondly, take care to stay out of Mammon's reach, for his power is most potent when he may lay hands on you. Okay. Finally, once you recover the prism, do not under any circumstances wield it. You needn't warn it. I'm totally gonna wield it. Eh, eh, eh. Heed. Heed. Heed that warning. <laughs> I want to wield it. I, I want to wield it. I mean, I'm not going to spoil what it does, but I will definitely say that if once you've wielded it, there's no going back. Okay. We're going to chat with Nuntu. None too interested, but okay. Wow. <laughs> 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 Sorry, the man thinks beside him. Be ape still and muse, wanderer, and welcome to my village, Kyakukya. Have some mold mushroom cider. You are an albino ape. Hmm. 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 You can see what kind of rep well, he has. Let's look at him. Look at this guy. Oh. Epotheot? Yucky. He's a nasty one. Hated by the, villages, hated of by the villages of Kishir. For stealing the cherished heirloom. Okay. Uh, toss up. I don't like making enemies to any village. But, you know. Have you heard the news? Oh, Grim, yes, we found the remains of pale things in the mouth of Svi. Does the jail widen again? Arr. That's really funny, considering he has a member of the Geyer right next to him. Um, so let's see, just see if, what he has for, for trade. He's got a, an, a thing of interest. Okay, so he's got an advertisement for the workshop of legendary what? We want to know. Nishwit tip legendary legendary um amoeba farmer and farmer. worshiper. Hmm. That could have been way more interesting. <laughs> That's really not that exciting. Uh, Corpus Callias is actually a very important uh, item that we will hopefully not ever need. Um, Mayor Nintu always spawns with this item in his inventory, and uh, it is basically a codex of all of the diseases in Cud and how to cure them. Mm. Um, the disease, like I say, I was saying before, the, the cure for diseases is kind of randomly generated in each run. Uh, so you 
Like, if you ever get sick, you need the corpus to figure out how to cure stuff. <laughs> We're buying mushrooms. Yeah. Should I sell this eat for that? We can, yeah. That's messed up. He, he doesn't seem bothered by buying, by, uh, buying it. The only reason we were bury it. we were carrying that because it has resistance to cold, but um, it's fine. We can we can use woolly. Uh, why don't we we can sell the data disc for electric since we already have that. Perfect. We'll want to preserve those mushrooms. We don't care about the advertisement. No, it could have been very good, but that's worthless to us. Is he just going to tell me to go to the warden? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh. Okay. When can you tell me about Kaki of Kika? We're watered by the river spray. We pluck the fruit of the wood and we hunt. That's nice. I will talk to Ural, even though I've been told he's kind of boring. I mean, yeah, definitely go for it. What do you have? Grave goods. What does that mean? Pretty sure those are just like trash. Okay, weird. Please, you to seek him. Okay. I gotta go talk to Yurl. I wanna talk to the Yurl. Oh, we're going the long way. The long way. Yurl? What are you? What's your story? <laughs> I ask that to people all the time. I'm Ural, Chandler and Consortium Notary. As for my story, I've been growing out of this pot for a while now. Before that, I was in another pot. Consortium? Yes, the Consortium of Phyta, who are a merchant village of trees, vines, shrubs, weeds, flowers, herbs, cacti, algae, and most sorts of plants, really. I can't say that I trust any of them, but there is no doubting their usefulness. The shelves are full, and the gossip flows. Nice. What about fungi? You didn't ask him about fungi. Uh, is he racist against fungi? Uh, yeah, plants don't like fungi, and it actually comes up. I'm not, I'm not kidding. So we have some engraved specs. Russia floor. Uh, we know that one. Small stone will likely be a uh, recoiler to Kyakukya. Worth it? I'm... Uh, eh. I mean, this isn't... Awful, but it's not great. Um, a scoped electro bow. Wow. Wow. Ooh, chairs. <laughs> right. We want to check the, those engraves. Might be good. Oh. Nope. Antidote too. Oh, new one. New one. Yeah. Nothing new helpful, but new. Oratafa. Uh, b -b 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 reputation for murdering someone by slaughtering her entire clan. That's rude. But new. But new. Good stuff. Love gossip. Um, how much is that rubber tree seed? Oh Ooh, wow. Sense. Basically free. Buy that. Okay. Why? Uh, it's a it allows you to make um rubber injectors. Mmm. I have no idea what that weird artifact is. It's um, so expensive. Really is. Uh, we need some more bananas. I don't know where to get them. I do, but I don't really want to like cheese that just yet all right 
This is fine. You'll have to fork over a whole dram because it's it rounds up. Okay. Or not? Trade complete. Guess he just gave it to you, huh? Yeah. Cool. All right. Um. You really want that, don't you? <laughs> it's so expensive. It must be good. It's gotta be good. I mean, if you think you've got All the right. the goods. Don't think I do. Would take. You gaslight Chris. All of your trade goods. Just start with all of your trade goods. Well, I'm not going to do it, but see how close we get. Oh, we got to get rid of that plastic tree. Don't remember buying a plastic tree. No, I mean, like, uh, we got to disassemble that. Uh, Don't worry about it right now. Oh, your nugs. Um, yeah, I guess like Chris isn't as valuable as I was hoping. Your electrified carbide folding hammer, you're not even halfway. I mean, you are kind of halfway, but oh, you're steel daggers. Don't forget them steel daggers. Um, yeah, I don't think you've got the goods. We don't need any of this. Spiral bore, gone. Wow. Psychodyne helmet, gone. Point defense drone, gone. I mean, we are never going to be able to make that stuff. Yeah. All these books, we don't, gone. We don't have enough. Even with all that stuff, I don't think it would do it. No. Oh. It is enticing. The dream. It's an interesting object that they have for sale. I have often You're found all, that the prices are too high. The expensive artifacts are generally speaking not worth the time and effort. Mm. All right. Um. So, do you want to do Warden Indrix? Um. What I, I'd recommend, we need more reputation with the, uh, with Mamon. To make that worth it so we don't either we want to wait for a when we have a love injector and we'd have to use a whole one not just like you know anyway we probably can't do this quest yet is what i'm saying it's a pretty good Ooh, that's actually really nice it's a really good recipe We could learn it, probably, if we make friends with them. We could. All right, well, this was fun. I actually only had you come here um, for a specific reason, which was to set a checkpoint so that we could go to the ruins in the right side. Desecrate. Yeah. Good for him. That's so many arms for a gorilla man. He does have a lot of them. Does Prang do anything anywhere? Nice. I don't think Prang does anything. I also don't think that Desecrating does anything. Hmm. Potential future mechanics. Who knows? Okay. So let's... So we're uh, going out? Yeah, let's hit a, hit a ruin. One of those... Hit uh, a ruin. Yeah, one of those on the These right things? side, yeah. We're just gonna check something out. We're gonna go we're gonna go deep. We're gonna fight some stuff that actually gives us some XP. Try and level up. Uh, this is a good start. Smack. That thing smack, just keeps smack. making turrets. I don't That's what he is. He's a tinker turret. Or turret tinkerer. Badly wounded. Dead. 200 XP. Wait, did you actually deflect one? I think the other one shot the other one. 
Well, you do have shiny feet, remember? Or shiny hands? Shiny hand. You're, you are, in the eyes of your hands, uh, part vampire. Hey, you, you did it. <laughs> no, you didn't do it. It's, you're unauthorized. If you had a higher security card, you could unauth uh, deactivate them. Notes for the future. What's this guy? What's he doing? He's a cool peed, but he's on. A, he's friends with we're you. We're chill. We're chill. Okay. He was just coming at me. Yeah. He does have the look about him of violence. Good old ruin dive in. Nothing like a good ruin dive to get the day started. I love a good ruin dive. Find us a trinket. Oh, you want to kill that slum slumberling? Is a slumberling? Yeah, he saw it for a split second. It's in um, in amongst that ruin. Left. Left again. Up. Left. Kill. We're here to make to to level up, and slumberlings are great fodder for us because they're worth a lot of XP. Also, whenever we can, we probably want to try again at a recipe. Oh, traipsing mortar. Oh wow! It's getting away. Good shot. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but I'm just gonna suggest we we keep trying on that Hulk honey. Hulk honey bone meal would be ideal. You wanna try it? Yeah. Hulk honey, bone meal, and skulk. We'll, we'll, we'll go for that. The odds are low, but if we get the perfect recipe combo, then hey, we're in it. Oh, I can oh. choose. Um. Oh, that bottom one is so close, but it's still better than what you have. What we what you have had. Whenever you try to suffer, yeah. Whenever you suffer a times two or greater physical penetration, it's kind of tempting because basically whenever anyone crits you, you get stronger. Wow. For 50 turns. Um, Hulk. 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 You do Hulk like out. Hulk. That top one is also kind of tempting because uh, like basically when you get really low, you're going to have ridiculous armor. But um, I don't know. 2 AV and 4 DV is probably the one I would go with because it's a safe bet. But hey, that was good. Better than what we've had. So the important thing here is that we have the 4... Uh, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. Too late. We didn't want DV. We wanted agility. That's true. What? Why? DV's not bad, though. You... I mean, hold on a second. Congealed skulk. Uh, carry on. I'm just gonna look up the cooking effect. Cooking effects. Oh, there's stairs. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we got unlucky there. But it did give me three options once again. It did. So, you know, when we get inspired again, we'll want to do this again. But uh, you, you did notice the um, the extra AV. That's the uh, that's the bone meal at work. Mm. So that's why I, I really like a bone meal is it gives you extra AV. Our, our perfect concoction that we're trying to achieve is plus four agility, plus four strength, and then plus two AV. It's a low chance, you know, we're just kind of rolling the dice every time, but it is possible. And if we know that those three recipe or ingredients work well um, for picking recipes, so we have a better chance now of actually achieving our, our perfect dream meal. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Oh, 
There's a Where'd lad right in from? front of you. He is, uh... I don't know. I don't know what kind of effect he gave you. Ooh, he's got an artifact. Probably a grenade. You're, you're going straight for them. Why can't I, I gotta see him? Right. Yeah, that's fair. Ooh. Everything about that makes me a little bit nervous. Hey, nice. Good grenade. This is fine. I mean, uh, I missed the electrified because you'd be doing damage to all of them. But, you know. We have another seed sower. I don't know if you can modify a um, seed with uh, airfoil. Because, uh, you know, meaning I don't think that you can, like, find a seed that you don't know what it is. Like, have to identify it again. <laughs> Throwing grenades in the, in, in the unknown, that's pretty good. Oh, he's up there now. There was a big group of them down there, so, like... No, I, 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 I completely agree. That was a good move. If you throw it... Well, apparently you can just throw it past goat folk, which is kind of nice. You are getting... I, you, you I killed took, a couple there. I took good throwing, I think, at some point. You did kill a couple goat folk, and I think one of them was the seed sower. These are good moves. These are excellent moves. Definitely not being shy about using your grenades is, is like, I would consider some of the best Caves of Cud play. Especially when you know you can make more. Like, you can make as many as you want, basically. All right. Well done. You chewed through that goat folk pile with ease. You're gonna take <laughs> six bullets. I want to know what this weird artifact is. You can take the seed sower seeds and use them as grenades. I find them to be kind of a pain in the in the butt, but. Because it doesn't, like, automatically put one in your throne slot when you've used up your explosive grenades, nor does it replace your sower seeds with explosive grenades. They're just two different items. Um, and they're not as good as Mark II. What's up? Oh. What is that? Plus 10 cold so I think it's a patchwork coat. Interesting. I don't know. It might give you something else. It might have another effect that it's not telling you about. How would I know? I have no idea, and unless you repaired it. I don't... I, I, I somehow feel like I'm leading you astray here, but it, it's fine. It costs you nothing. No, it's the same effect. Okay. Well, glad we checked. Um, you could... That could be worth something. I haven't seen that one too much. The plus 82 was, again, you healing the patchwork coat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, let's look at those artifacts. Let's do that. Examine. Yep. Ulnar, Ulnar simulator. Oh, simulators. I think those are quite good. Have a look at those. When activated, plus one strength, plus one agility. They are quite good. Okay. That'd be the kind of thing we want to put a like a biodynamic cell into. 
Or if we had a spare Make some blood gloves. nuclear cell. Yeah, blood gloves. Uh, examine. Siphon baton. Siphon baton. Um. Drains electrical charge from its target and their equipment and transfers it to a slotted energy cell. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I've seen that one before. It's not a very good pen and it doesn't do a lot of damage, though. It'd be good against robots. Yeah. But, um, I'll definitely disassemble that at the very least or pick it up for yeah, it's money. Gotta, it's gotta, let's disassemble it. Nice find. This is why I love ruin diving. You never know what you're going to find. It's like a box of chocolates. You know? Um, you think these gloves are good? Yeah. They're not as good AV, but they'll give you plus one strength, plus one agility. And right now, that's pretty good. I don't know if we can modify them. Let's look what we can do to it right now. Six fingered, we six could fingered, give it an extra. Which is another plus one. And uh, I, I'm guessing even if you add that, we could give it woolly as well. All right, oh. so you, you think this is a better choice than... Here's what I'm going to suggest. Give it woolly first, because it might actually improve your um, chance of doing six-fingered. Yeah. So that... It might have been exactly the same amount, but it... You can do both, is the point. Cool. Um, well, I don't think we have any good cells left, but we could definitely shove a normal cell in there. You have a nuclear cell? Oh, that's right, because... We can make them, also. Can we? I don't think we have the bits. Mm. It's, it's a anyway. six. It's a six bit. Yeah, you can throw the nuclear cell in there for now. May as well. Hands. Cool. Those are a pretty good find. Okay. Uh, we could end the episode there. You don't want to? Let's. Well, you want to explore the floor? Yeah, all right. Let's, let's shoot this we'll goat guy at the very least. Do the floor. Smack, smack. I be on the attack. Oh, stop. Stop it. Fine, I'll just charge slowly. <laughs> Honk. We're so close to leveling up. Well, we're not that close, but we're closer. No. Ooh. Was that an ant? Something's happening down a there. A fire ant? Did we make some blaze injectors, by the way? We have not made them. No, no, no uh, rush, but we probably want to do that before we head back to Susa. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it in between eps. Between eps? There's so much fire happening. Yeah, there's a lot of fire going on. Ants are something you encounter quite a lot in uh, ruins. Which is good for us, because we need that ant gaster paste. What, even, what am I shooting? You're fi fighting a worker ant. Um, you critically hit a mangrove tree. Ends with that beetle learning? No, not oh. anymore. Something happened. Might have hit it by accident. Oh Ooh. God. Um. So you just took a direct hit from a tra traipsing mortar. It ta needs time to reload, but uh, yeah, you're you're in a lot of danger. So maybe. Ooh. I'd say uh, hit yourself with a salve and a witch, like which would bark, like both. Actually, it might be a good chance to try a, try an herbary. Eat that. Just eat it. Yeah, just eat it. 
Wow. I died. Good lord. Scalding, it's the steam that's killing me. Oh. I thought that that I died from steam. I thought that got fixed. Good god. What a way to end. Well, that's why we steam stopped. Steam death. Kikuchi. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Well, turns out everyone, not the fire, it's the steam. It's not the fire, it's the steam. Good God. Good app, everyone. Good app. Clap. Come back next week where we try again. Yo, can, can, we, can we get some claps in the comments? Get some, can we get some nice, nice... Nice. These steam puns. Yeah. All right. Well, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And, yeah. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. <laughs>